I graduated from the School of Nursing in 1958 and have been here pretty much most of the rest of the most of the rest of my life. There's probably about 10 years of that were in administration, so it wasn't any direct contact with the patients, but I was president of the board, I was on the board, so I still had uh, contacts with the hospital, although it wasn't directly with the patients or families all the, the whole time. During the time we were there, I think we couldn't have done it without the staff, but the physicians, the nursing staff, we had just, uh, I think, an incredible group of people that I was working with that uh, we were able to open the unit to get it running, to expand it, and so it's grown to what it is today. It's, I think I was director of, uh, associate director of nursing for, for 10 years, and during that time, we opened the first intensive care unit, and I participated in orienting the nurses uh, and training the nurses to preparing them to open that unit and to, to be able to function in the critical care setting. I, I think that was one contribution that, that I feel like I've made. We've been a Catholic hospital since the uh, hospital opened in 1924. When the sale of the hospital was finalized with Capital Huntington, they agreed that we could continue to abide by the ethical and religious directives for Catholic hospitals. It's been an important part of part of our ministry was the ethics committee here at St. Mary's. I was uh, chair of the ethics committee or co-chair of the ethics committee for, for many, many years and uh, so we had to work with a lot of patients with, uh, with families that were struggling with important decisions. One of the key people that has made an impact in the growth of the hospital was, was Steve Soltis. Uh, he's the first lay administrator we had. Uh, we'd never had a lay administrator and uh, people were just not real sure that how that was going to work, but uh, I think he, he did a wonderful job in, in, in planning and in looking forward to what, what was needed. St. Mary's has always been kind of family-oriented. Uh, I think that that's one thing. Uh, I think uh, a lot of the, the staff members feel 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 that they feel like they're part of a part of a larger family here. Our pioneer sisters did an incredible job when they came. They had very little to work with, and we we have a, a book built on the shoulders of giants. And I, I think we we truly truly have built on their shoulders because they, they, we couldn't have done everything that we've done if it hadn't been for our, our Pioneer Sisters. They've just been done an incredible job of, of, of opening the hospital. Another part of the, of the contribution that I felt like that I've, I helped with, uh, we established a, the mission statement, we established the cultures and all the mission and the, all of the values and each one of those, each one of those values is, is so important. Uh, I, I think that we, we tried to con inculcate that into our orientation, to, into all of our new staff as they come, come on, that it's important that they know what these values are, that they know what they stand for, and that they live by them. I've been here through lots of change, and I'm sure that there's gonna be much more change over the next hundred years. Uh, this hundred years, it's been just uh, incredible in the amount of change that's occurred. But I would, I hope that we would be able to continue to, to live by the values that we've instituted, that our employees would continue to remember, know what these values were, and to be able to live by them. I know so often people remark that they miss the sisters so much. Uh, uh, we miss them too, so it's, it goes both ways. I think uh, we wish there were more of us that were able to, to be available, but there, there are just not that many sisters available. Uh, the, we're, we're trying to prepare our staff so that they can continue the work, uh, even though the sisters aren't here physically. I think 
our legacy is still here and hopefully they can, can follow that legacy and, and continue to, to build on that and to uh, continue to, to do the good work that we've done over the last hundred years. I'm Sister Diane and I'm part of St. Mary's legacy.